What is up guys, it's your boy Sharky and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a crazy video. I am going to be seeing if I can try and max every skill level in the first season of Stardew Valley. That means get every single level to 10 the max in just 28 days of a brand new fresh save file. No upgraded tools, no backpack, no money, no maximum energy. Doing all this from a fresh save, let's see how many skill levels we can get in just the first spring alone so we're starting straight off in day one we start off by clearing the farm hunting for mixed seeds really was the key for me and then we go into town and do some foraging I went to PA's to buy some seeds, we got some parsnips, I ended up buying 30 but I went back and bought more, we got 50 in total Planted those, gave them a water and called day one that because we had no energy or food. So we straight away we got level one foraging, a great start to the episode. A little bit of money as well and then we move in to day two. Of course we water the crops, we go into town, do some foraging. Search the trash cans, pick up the rod from Willy, do a spot of fishing on the beach just to get started. Some bubbles appeared, so I thought, yeah, let's get into those. Spent a few hours fishing there, picked up some beach forage, went into town, did some more foraging, went back home, sold everything, planted the remaining parsnips, gave them a water, and then decided to clear some of the farm with the energy and time I had remaining, and then went to sleep. Level one fishing, straight away, not bad. In fact, we got to level two. Not bad from a couple of hours fishing, a little bit of extra money. And now we move on to day three. It was raining, no need to water the crops, so I went straight out into town, did some foraging. And then of course we did some fishing, hunting for those catfish, it's gonna give us really good fishing XP. Fishing in the rain is amazing. So I spent quite a lot of time doing this. We got a lot of fish, and then we went to Willy to sell it all, check the trash cans, did some more fishing, hunting for those catfish, did that for the rest of the day, went back home, sold some things, and then chopped down a few trees to try and work on that foraging skill. That was one of the skills that I was worried about the most. And then we called it a night. Level 3 fishing. Now we're into day four. Watered the crops. Chopped some trees down around town. Like I said, focusing on the foraging skill. I feel like fishing and farming was going to be easy. The mines are not unlocked yet, so I had a perfect opportunity to go around town and into the forest and the woods to get some foraging. We ate lots of food. Stamina was a big, big problem at the beginning of this game because we had not much food and of course our energy is low. I just went around chopping the trees down and then using the seeds to make field snacks and I kept doing that all day. So eating field snacks, chopping trees, getting the seeds and then we ended up getting level two foraging. It was a great day of foraging and that is how I spent that day and then we Move in to day five. So our crops are ready, the parsnips, that should give us a few levels of performing. And then I watered the rest of the crops and of course all of the land as well because I am now buying some potato seeds from Pierre. I picked up 40, I think I ended up buying more, got 60. We check the bins. I unlocked the bridge to get over to the other side on the beach. Great foraging here. Can check this every couple of days and get some good foraging XP. And then went back to Willy, sold some things, cleared the inventory, and I bought more potato seeds. I think we had 80 in total, so I went back to the farm, prepped the land, planted those, ate lots of food, watered the potatoes, and then for the rest of the time, chopped some trees down. But energy was very, very bad on that day, so I had to call it a night, of course. The, potato, the parsnips gave us level 1 farming. And a little, little extra money, but now we're moving to day 6. A crow ate one of my parsnips. I was furious. Of course, harvested those and planted the rest of the potatoes and some wild spring seeds. This is going to be good for foraging. I gave them all a water and then we chopped some trees down and cleared up some of the farm. Of course, I'm on the Four Corners farm, so there is a quarry on here. So every now and then I came down here, got some good mining XP from these. The copper and the geodes are really good. 
Energy was a big problem again, but I sold everything that we mined and then I had to call it a night at 6 p.m. because I had nothing to eat. We got level two farming. And level one mining from the little quarry there. Made a little bit of extra money and then now we move into day seven. One week gone by already. I only have a few skill levels, but we are preparing for the big ones. So I went into town, did some foraging. The mines are now unlocked, so I thought it's great. Perfect time to start working on that combat level. But this is another skill that I'm worried about. So I spent a lot of time in the mines, getting all of the good mining stuff, and of course, killing lots of enemies. We made our way to level five, killed lots of more enemies. I was hoping to get some combat levels up here. And then we made it to level 10 eventually. I continued, it's 10 p.m. I thought I'd just work my way down there. We found a topaz, good mining skill. And yeah, the rest of the time that we had left, I spent in the mines, went back home and called that a night. We got level one combat, just what I was wanting. And of course, day eight, it is now raining. Love that, don't need to water because I'm not going for sprinklers. I thought I'd just use the watering can, so I sold everything from the night before, and I thought, good time to start getting on that foraging, chopping some trees down, going around town. Of course, searching the bins. Don't forget the bins. Picked up a great find here with the bread. I was really happy. I built a chest, took it to the mines, and we continue to work on the progress. Getting that mining skill and the combat level up as high as we can. Like I said, fishing and farming was not a problem for me. I thought foraging, combat and mining obviously are going to be the hardest, so I tried to spend a lot of time down here as much as I could. We had bombs, kill loads of enemies, going for that copper. They're the rocks that I want to be hitting. The lightish or darkish grey rocks give you a little XP and of course the copper ore. The normal rocks don't, so I was trying to only hit the rocks that I wanted to go for. I nearly died here, so I had to bail. Uh, like I said, not much food. It was hard, but we called it a night, sold lots of stuff. I crafted our first furnace and then uh, smelted a bar and went to sleep. Level three foraging, not a bad start of, and then level two mining and level two combat. So we're starting to get somewhere now. I was uh, looking forward to it. I was getting excited, but we're into day nine. Smelt our first bar. I thought, yeah, let's get another one on the go. Water the crops. Then went into town after that, did a bit of foraging, went back into the mines, I thought why not, we hit a jackpot here, lots of copper, great mining XP, I thought let's just have another good full day in the mines, let's try and get as much skills as we can in this. Hit a lot of monster floors, normally I hate these, but I thought this is actually a great opportunity to try and get that combat level up, so I was not actually disappointed finding these floors. We ended up calling it a night when it was too late, sold some stuff and went to sleep, quick day. In the mines again, back to back. Now we roll on to day 10. It was hard to try and split my days here and decide what to do, but we harvested some of our parsnips that were ready, watered the rest of them. Crafted some fertilizer. We are preparing for the strawberry seeds. Chopped a few trees down here. And then went into the forest, did quite a lot of foraging. And then I thought, oh, there's a pond on the uh, Four Corners farm. Let's try some fishing here. I fish on here all day, see how good it is, but it is terrible. All you, The only fish you can catch is the smallmouth bass, rubbish XP, and uh, a lot of trash. So I'll never be doing that again. That was a waste of a day. I should have fished in the lake or in the river. But it's day 11, a few days away from the strawberries. And our potatoes are ready. This should be very good farming XP here and it should give us a lot of money in time for the strawberries. I water the spring forage seeds, put down the fertilizer and then do a little bit of foraging and don't forget the trash cans. And then I went into Pierre's, we sold some stuff, obviously the potatoes. And then I did some foraging on the beach. Got some good money now ready for the strawberry seeds. Had a little break here, went back to Willy, sold some stuff, and I bought some bait for the fiberglass rod that we did buy. Found some bubbles there, but it wasn't very good, so I went up into the lake, and uh, yeah, I thought I'd do some fishing here. My favorite spot, let's work on the fishing, get some good XP, because I've not really been doing a lot of fishing, and it's 11th of spring, because like I said, I wasn't too worried about it, but hit some bubbles here, this is what we want. Try and get these uh, fish coming in fast, get that XP racking up. And I did this all night. This was a fishing day. I thought it's about time I put some effort into it. So we, yeah, we did that all day. Lots of fish there, as you can see. 
sold all that should give us some good money for the strobes as well and then we called it a night level three farming from the potatoes level four farming this is what i wanted to see i was hoping to get to five but we didn't quite do it level four fishing level five fishing though that is just what i wanted Halfway through now for the fishing, nearly with the farming as well, some decent money, and we are now on day 12 of spring. Nearly halfway, so we water the rest of the crops, have some breakfast, go foraging, we're going into the mines, more XP for the combat and mining, thought I'd spend most of the day doing this, because uh, yeah, we need this the most. I found another monster floor, I was happy getting that combat level up. The only thing is it takes quite a long time, but we did manage to find the forest sword, which is a very, very good weapon, better than the one we've got. So yeah, I was uh, pleased with that. It's gonna help me down in the mines a lot. Continued finding those copper and those enemies. And then I found another monster floor. A few floors later, this one was quite easy. And then we're now onto the horrible floors, the dark ones. But we did get some good copper and the enemies are a bit harder. So that means we should get more XP. We did that for the rest of the night, sold lots of stuff put some things in the furnace of course and then went to sleep level 3 combat and that is all I was starting to panic when I wasn't seeing the skills going up but 13th of spring the 13th day now this is where it gets exciting of course for the strobes so we harvested the spring forage seeds they was done in time and I crafted some more why not went out did some foraging I forgot my shovel, I left it in the chest so I had to go up to the mines to get it, put loads of fertilizer down, prepped the land, and then went to the spring festival and bought the strawberry seeds. We got 200, so it was now a, uh, a job to try and plant these and uh, water most of them because, yeah, I bought more than I actually prepped, so this was quite tight and I didn't have a lot of time left to do this, uh, and eventually I did have to call it a night. And there was some left over that I need to do for the day after. Day 14, halfway through. We've watered the mad amount of crops. This was an absolute killer. I really wish I went with sprinklers, but in my mind, I thought, let's just go with a watering can. I should find lots of food, which luckily I did start picking up a lot of food now. We checked the bins, went and did some foraging on the beach. Checked the bins again. Did some foraging for the spring onions. Found Lost Axe for Robin, which I'll never give her, and then I went and chopped some trees down to get the foraging level up. We did this for the whole night, just using the seeds and the field snacks to eat, and then I went back home and tried to plant the rest of the 30 strawberries that we had with the last time and energy that we had left, and uh, I used some more fertilizer. Then we went to sleep and we are now rolling in to day 15. No levels of skills on that day. I was starting to panic here. I was starting to panic. So we had a few crops done, but of course we got the big job of watering. It took so long, it took me a few hours in the game. But once it was done, I got on with the day. It was salmonberry season, so great opportunity for harvesting those for food. Sadly, you don't get foraging XP for those, which is a bummer. But we did some other foraging along the way, trying to get the energy back up after the watering. And then I thought I'd go back into the mines for this day and uh, yeah, try and work down, get past these horrible dark floors, getting all the copper, killing the enemies. And eventually we got onto the ice floors where we can start getting iron. I found a good weapon there as well. The, uh, the bat, very strong weapon, but now we can start focusing on the harder slimes and the dust sprites, which is good XP, and of course the iron for the mining skill. So I was just trying to work around these floors on the, around 40, farming for the iron for the XP and of course the enemies. I just went back and forth, back and forth on these floors. I wasn't really planning to progress down further. Eventually it got late and uh, yeah, we called it night. We got level three mining. I was hoping to get to level four on that one because I put a lot of energy into it. So yeah, this is what it's looking like right now. Four farming, three mining and foraging, five fishing and three combat. Whew, I'm not even halfway on some of those. So yeah, I was starting to panic here. Back to the water and the crops, doing more salmonberry foraging. 
and then it was straight back to the mines because I noticed combat and mining were far behind. So yeah, I put a big shift in here and I was really hoping to see a couple of levels go up. We had a big food break here, energy was a problem, but luckily we had a lot of food on us. Salmon berries are really helping and I was just hunting for those enemies and the iron ore. Did this for the whole day, back and forth on level 40. Those are the good floors where you can get a lot of iron like this. We had some good floors and we put a very good shift in here. I was really, really happy with how mining and combat went there. So I was hoping to go to sleep and see some skills pop up. And we did for the mining, we got to level four, but that is it, no combat. I was like, oh no, what is going on here? Why is combat so hard? So yeah, I was really starting to panic with those skills. And then Demetrius turned up and gave us the option for the fruit bats, of course, or the mushrooms. Fruit bats are amazing because you do get a foraging XP for those. Sadly, you don't with the mushrooms. So water the crops, tender to the furnaces and uh, finished off watering. 11 a.m. before we even started to do anything, I decided to craft some crab pots, which is gonna help with the fishing XP. Uh, yeah, did some foraging, had a good breakfast. And then I planted down the crab pots, put them into the river, did a spot of fishing here with the bubbles. Thought I'd take the opportunity to get some good fishing XP whilst they are there. Then spent quite a lot of time with those bubbles. They didn't disappear till around 6 p.m. And then I did some foraging, checked the bins, did more foraging, and then fished up in the lake for the rest of the day because this is amazing XP, a good spot to fish. And uh, yeah, we didn't do too bad. Called it a night eventually, sold lots of fish, made some decent money, and uh, we're rolling on to day 18. We've got level 4 foraging, which is very good. And, of course, the fishing's going up now as well, level 6. Day 18 of spring, 10 days left. It was raining, I was very excited, we had a few cauliflowers to harvest and I thought let's put a shift in with the trees because of course this does give you foraging XP so chopped a few trees on the farm and of course went down to the quarry, got all the mining XP there. Backpack was starting to become a problem, I wasn't sure why I've not got the backpack upgrade already. But we tended to the furnaces, crafted more crab pots, that's what I was getting the wood for and of course the iron. Checked the trash cans, tended to the crab pots, rebated them up. And of course we had the other ones that are crafted so did more foraging, went back up to the mines and then we focused on this for the rest of the day I believe, getting the mine in the combat higher. Because time was running out now, I only had 10 days left and I was panicking. But eventually we went back home 1am, sold lots of stuff, put the furnaces on overnight and went to sleep. Level 5 in mining halfway which is brilliant. And then now we're rolling into day 19. Looked after the furnaces, made some more crab pots, checked the trash cans, rebated the old crab pots and put down the new ones. In fact, I think we, yeah, we ended up picking these ones up and I did want to move them. Did a spot of fishing in the morning until Willie opened because I needed some bait. Got some good catfish here. And then I moved the crab pots onto the beach, spoke to Willie, bought lots of bait rebated the crab pots and then did some fishing of course it's raining hunting down those catfish for the xp that's what we want and then some bubbles appeared i thought yeah brilliant we can spend quite a lot of time here hopefully fishing get the catfish in the rain let's get some fishing xp up here did this all night but eventually the bubbles disappeared so i moved on to the beach and i found more bubbles and these ones were here for the rest of the night and we did find the broken trident, my favourite weapon, which was very exciting. It's going to help me in the mines a lot. My backpack here was rammed, so I just had to throw the fish on the floor at this point. And then eventually went back home, sold the fish and went to sleep. Fishing was level 7, so we are very close to maxing out this skill, which I wasn't worried about anyway. Made some decent money and we're rolling on to day 20. Watering the horrible strawberries had so much here, but... We bought some more potatoes. I was worried about the farming skill, that the strawberries weren't enough. And then I decided to go to Clint and buy some copper and iron so I can craft more sprinklers. I want some sprinklers for the potatoes so I don't have to water them. We sorted out the crab pots, used the furnaces, and then I moved all the crab pots, or some of them, up into the lake as well, because this is where I do a lot of fishing. And then thought, you know why I'm here? To do a spot of mining. 
and then uh, try and work on the mining and combat. So I had the rest of the night, I think, just, yeah, in the mines. Eventually, called it a night, nearly 2 a.m. We got level four combat. I was hoping to get that to five. But now it is day 21, only seven days left. Strawberries were ready, finally. This should be a good, good farming XP. This was a good test for me to see what level would be on after those strawberries. I was panicking, thinking that it wasn't gonna be enough, and in the end, I was right. So we sold the strawberries. Made some decent money. I bought more potato seeds. Like I said, I wanted some sprinklers for these ones. So went back to Clint, bought some more iron and copper because couldn't quite get enough of those. We looked after the crab pots before we went back to the farm and prepped the land for a nice potato area. Hopefully this is gonna give us some good XP after the strawberries. Spent all night doing this until I passed out. Couldn't water them all sadly, but we still did have quite a few days left for the potatoes to be ready. We got level 5 farming, halfway through. Did we go up any more? Yes, we got to level 6. Please level 7? No, we didn't get level 7 with the strawbs, which was very sad. But now we move on to day 22. Checking on the potatoes, they're looking good. I did have another sprinkler, so I put that one down. We just need a few more seeds just to fill out that gap. Harvested the rest of the strawberries, these are the ones that I had to do the day after. Because I didn't have enough time, so some good XP there, I believe. Of course, looking after the furnace as well, making sure we've got them copper and iron bars coming in. And then, of course, watering all the strawberries. And then I went out and did a bit of foraging. Went back to Piers. We sold all of our stuff that we had on us. And I did buy a few cheeky little parsnip seeds and chopped some trees down before we went back home. I rebaited the crab pots, chopped some more trees down, and even more, and more, and more, and yeah, I decided to do this the whole night. Let's get that foraging level up as much as we can. We had tons of food, so I took full advantage of getting the foraging level up as much as we could, until we eventually passed out. Did we get any levels up? No. Nothing. All of those trees and not one foraging level. I was really upset over that. So went on to the next day, watered the crops, and I chopped even more trees down because I was so mad with the fact that the foraging was just not going up. We ended up clearing the farm, and I actually remembered. I knew how to animation cancel, of course. I'm a pro Stardew Valley player. But we got level 5 foraging in the end, finally. That's taking so long to get up, I couldn't actually believe it. I thought foraging was going to be so easy, it turned out to be one of the hardest ones to do. We moved on to the 24th of spring, we had a few spring forage here. We sold lots of stuff, watered the rest of the crops. Like I said, I know how to do animation cancelling, so I was quite fast with it. I should have done this from the start, I don't know why I didn't. But we ate a lot of food, got the energy back up. Rebaited the crab pots. This should be good fishing XP. And uh, yeah, did a spot of fishing. I was really wanting to max out my fishing skill um, just because I thought I was going to get to level 10 by the end of this. So I was confident at the start. So I did this all night trying to get as much as we could. Eventually went back home, sold a lot of fish. And then we called it a night. We got level 8 fishing. And that is all. Not many skills going up and there's only a few days left. This was hard to try and spread the time on what skill to focus on the most. I thought this was going to be easier than it was. But the strawberries, the next lot of strawberries were here. This was going to be exciting to see if we could try and get close to maxing out the farming skill. Didn't have to water them again because they wouldn't be ready other than the patch on the side here that are a day behind. We did some foraging in town. Checked the bins, found more bread, sold the strawberries. I finally decided to buy the backpack upgrade with uh, a few days left. We did some foraging on the beach. Lots of foraging here. And I saw some bubbles. I thought, yep, let's take advantage of those. If I see them, I'm fishing in them. 
I don't think they lasted too long and yeah, the ocean's not very good for fishing XP, so it didn't last too long, carried on with the beach foraging and went to Willy to sell it all, clear up the space and then buy lots of crab pots. I bought 20 to fill out on the beach to help get that fishing XP level up as much as possible. Then we did some more foraging in town, ate some bread, yum yum, then rebaited the crab pots up in the lake, did some fishing, and I think we did this for the rest of the night. Like I said, I really wanted to max out the fishing skill. Compared to the rest, I really just started focusing on this one now because this was doable. The rest were looking not so doable. We eventually passed out on the rod because uh, we just fished that long. And we got level 7 farming from those strawberries. I was like, please level 8, please level 8, come on. And we didn't. We only got one level with those. So yeah, now I knew in my head, farming was not going to get to max. But we had some more strawberries to harvest here, a few cheeky parsnips, and we still did have the potatoes that was going to come up tomorrow. So I was crossing my fingers, but did some foraging. Went back up to the crab pots, made sure they was all baited up. Went back into the mines trying to do as much last minute mining and combat skill as we could because I didn't really put too much time into mining towards the end of this. Just because I knew it was so far away but I thought let's just see what we could actually get to. We ended up working our way down to 50. And then 60. Put a big shift in here. And then I ended up passing out after a good day's or night's mining. And there we go, we got level 6 mining. I was happy with that. And still no combat. I could not believe it. I was killing so many enemies and the combat level was just not going up. Very similar to the foraging. I just couldn't work out why these levels were still so low. But we sold everything from the mining trip. And then we harvested a few of the potatoes. Rebated the crab pots on the beach. We had lots of them here. Checked the bins, did some foraging in town, went back up to the lake and sorted those crab pots out. And then I thought I'd try my luck and get the ice pip because this is a hard fish to catch, but some very good XP. We ended up getting it, got quite lucky. And then I went down to the lower floors and we caught the stonefish too, why not? Good fishing XP there. And then I thought I'd spend the rest of the night mining. Let's try and get the combat up, like I said. I was really wanting to get combat to level five. I was happy just to reach level five halfway through just in one season but it was tough I was like can we do it a few days left so I spent a lot of time you'll see in these last two days just trying to kill some enemies we had a break did some good mining as well as killing lots of enemies and uh, yeah we did this until eventually we passed out in the mines we also found the diamond very good level 8 farming from those potatoes and that's where that ended level 9 fishing that was not too bad one way from max and uh, good money so now we're into the final day day 28 can we max out any skill at this point <laughs> that's what i was thinking we sold everything we had on us harvested the rest of the potatoes i was like please get the level up this is all we had left to farm i finally decided to check the fruit back cave as well didn't do that until uh, now because i let them build up a bit we had a lot of fruit in here which is going to be very good foraging xp so i was like please let's get foraging up at least we did the mining on the farm, got rid of all of the rocks. Very good XP here. Every single one of these rocks gives you an XP. And then I thought I'd do some foraging around in the woods. Check the bins. Did all the crab pots. Found some bubbles before I was going to do these crab pots, so I thought, yep, let's get distracted and do some fishing here. Can we get to level 10 fishing? That is literally what I had in mind on this last day, guys. I just wanted to max out fishing skill because that's the only one that was doable at this point. So after we did the crab pots and did a little bit of foraging, we had lots of food and I fished my life away all night and I was crossing my fingers to see the level 10 at the end of the night and uh, that would have been a great way to end it. So did we get level 10 fishing? Nope. 
we did not we didn't get any levels up at all so that was it that was 28 days let's take a look at what our levels were like after 28 days in the first year in spring year one that was it that was my project ended we didn't do too good i don't think or did we i don't know let's have a look so level eight farming i was so disappointed not to be level nine we got level six mining which i was happy with level five foraging i thought yeah okay halfway i was happy we did not get level 10 fishing i was so sad about that i really thought i was going to get level 10 in one season i think i've done this before many times but um because i was focusing on lots of other skills you kind of don't do as much fishing so yeah was behind with that one and combat was only level four i was really wanting level five with that so that's how 28 days looked in stardew valley trying to spread my time onto each skill obviously if i just spent all my time farming that would have been level 10 if i spent all of my time fishing that would have been level 10 probably with mining as well but because i was trying to split my days on every single one it was super tough and that's all we managed to do but that wasn't bad for one season you know I, uh, I'm thinking of doing a, a, like a, a part two to this, maybe try and finish this in season two. I've, I really do believe in summer next next season, we can finish this and max every single one out. So if you want to see a part two to this, please let me know. I'd be happy to do that. It's, it's been a fun experiment, you know. Obviously, it's kind of impossible to get level 10 in one season, but it was a good idea. It gives you a lot an, an idea as well to see how far you could actually get your skills if you're really focused on them. There's probably a few things that I did wrong. Uh, it was my first ever time doing it, but for my first attempt not bad i definitely think i could get to farming and fishing level 10 in the next attempt if i did this again but i still think combat and mining and foraging is going to be a no-go there's no way of getting that level 10 in 28 days in your first spring that is so yeah look out for number two if you really want it hit the like button if you did enjoy it subscribe if you're new around here this was a crazy long video i'd appreciate all the support but until then guys make sure you take it easy and uh yeah I will see you all on the next one and hopefully we can get level 10 on every single skill in the next 28 days. It'll be exciting to see. Bye bye.